from all the shit that we're learning about the world and how like, fucked up it is, um, I really think it's a good philosophy just to get in our heads to keep us sane. Um, it's something in tw- yeah, towards the end of 2021, I started getting in a bit of like a weird place where I didn't feel hopeful about the future and I didn't feel like I think was COVID was still around and all this, like the next vaccine was coming out and all this shit. And I was just like, I had enough of it all. And I was listening to a lot of uh, Russell Brand at the time. And it just made, I just felt like shit, like the world is not a fucking good place at the moment and it's not looking like it's going to get any better. Mm. Um, I feel like once I started looking at stoicism, it sort of changed my perspective and not, and I, did, I don't worry as much about what the fuck's going on out there. As much as, much as we talk about it, I don't worry about it. It is what it is at the end yeah, of the yeah. day. Um, but <clears throat> obviously, I, I got you the uh, Daily Stoic, which we're both doing. Um, I'm just hoping, like, I think it's good, like a long-term thing that uh, you just keep reading and studying because there's always new shit that you can find out about it. Yeah. It's a good life. author as well, Ryan Holiday. Uh, I mean, I haven't yeah. read any of his shit yet, but I read this, and there's also that Ego is the Enemy. That was his book. Yeah. And The Obstacle is the Way. Yeah. I think it's just a philosophy that sort of, in these times, I think it's a good thing to know to sort of, don't be too concerned about what's going on out there because at the end of the day, you've got no control over it. And I think it just makes you more resilient person mm. which is something i think we need in these times yeah it's about being um selfish but in a selfless way if you know what i mean mm. not being selfish and it's about caring about yourself so you can care about other people other, like you 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 becoming the best person you can be so you're the best person you can be for the people around you yeah 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 it's not being spiteful it's not being uh selfish in the to gain anything yeah. Um, apart from to gain other people. But yeah, I think this daily stoic is a wicked thing to do. Definitely as we've January first we quit drinking. Uh, I started a journaling this year as well, just like personal journaling. And I put I did a bit of like a reflection piece on last year and I said like my main focus was responsibility and that's from me listening to Peterson. Cause he says like, get your shit in order, get responsible, be responsible. So I actually took that on board and I think that helped me a lot last year. Um, so I put my main focus for 2022 was responsibility. And then at the bottom I put, I think this year's main focus is strength and resilience. Cause just from what we've learned and what I said before, I feel like we're going to go through a bit of a, some hard times whether it's this year or next. So a lot of it is like, um, well, for me anyway, is finding, I like, I love doing this and talking about the stuff we talk about. I enjoy doing it, but then there's that the other side of it, which comes with it, which is like the editing, the fact now we're finding guests, which we've just done um, before the call, stuff like that, that we do it sort of gives it more than just, we're talking about something and then, we're actually trying to grow a community around it. Um, and whilst we're trying to do that and trying to grow something like for ourselves, on top of it, we're doing the Daily Stoic. We can tie in like making people, because Russell Brand ca- ca- kind of preaches it, but not in a direct way, because he preaches about being at peace within and being kind to others. But he goes really hard on the type of shit that's going on in the world. But I feel like we've got an opportunity where we can combine the two, where we can be aware of what's going on. We can grow a community and we can also teach them how to live a better. And like, you need to know the stuff that's happening, but at the same time, you can't let it like make you insane. You need to bring yourself down as well. Yeah. Ground yourself back to what is going on in the present today. Um, and so that's like another stoic teaching is, what can you what can you control today 
and do that and that will make the difference if you can't control it today then don't worry about it yeah 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 uh, yeah and then what, that's what i was saying like about having the actual we've got the actual channel but the channel's an actual project is like we've got something that we're trying to grow as well as talking about because it'll be easy just to go out to people and just preach this stuff but we're doing it just telling people oh this is what's going on like it's fucked up and then moving on that's not actually doing anything about it i think building a community to make people more resilient and also inform them of what's going on i think i'm making sense um will actually build better people because they'll be more aware more resilient stronger. Yeah. 